everyone welcome back to my channel my name is april and if you're new here i make diy fashion and sewing tutorials every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you never miss out on a new video this week i'm back with another episode of thrift day transformations and it's another maternity dress diy and it's for harper's mommy i'm so excited for you guys to see it so let's get started this is a denim dress I thrifted for $8 and I was lucky to find something in a large enough size to fit over my aunt's baby bump. And there's Harper in the back, blue lips and all, helping direct mommy in her first appearance on my channel. The first thing I did was separate the top from the skirt so I can fit each piece individually on her. I raised the skirt so that the waist seam is above the bump and took in the center back to fit her. The original skirt had pleats at the waist, but they didn't flatter the bump, so I opened them up and replaced them with darts instead. This is a little sewing hack I learned from Pinterest I actually love doing. I'm using my grandma's hand soap to mark the dress because my fabric markers were dying. Laid the dress down and evenly mark the two darts. Then fold the triangle in half and sew it closed. I left the skirt a little loose at the waist because I'll be cinching it in with some elastic later. Then go ahead and fit the top as well. It should have the same waist size as the skirt. This is what the dress looks like with the bodice and skirt attached back together and now I can stretch and sew some elastic to help define the bump even more. I stretched some elastic and measured it to fit comfortably underneath the bust and around the back and then stretched and sewed it to the waist. Next, we're going to change the neckline into a v-neck instead of the original scoop neck. So I marked the new shape and will also be tapering the size of the straps. Make sure to undo any hemming so you can blend the new seam line into the original. Trim both sides evenly and now we can move on to figuring out the straps. I removed the back shoulder straps and marked a new shoulder seam on my aunt. Then taking a leftover scrap piece, I pinned it at the shoulder and marked out a back strap that will go straight down to attach to the top. Show up your markings on the table and cut the strap out. Flip the strap over onto another piece of fabric and cut out a second strap. Then sew the front and back straps together at the shoulder seams. Before attaching the straps, I went ahead and hemmed all the raw edges of the top. I'm actually sewing with my aunt's machine and I like it a lot because it's really quiet and smooth. I definitely recommend it so if anyone is interested, I will place a link down below. 
Now I can place the straps behind the top and top stitch them down. My aunt told me she really liked dresses with embroidery on it, so I found this fabric from Joanne and cut out the beautiful embroidered flowers to sew it on like patches along the bottom of the skirt. Earlier, I thought I could just leave the flowers as one big strip, but it didn't line up with the hemline, so I had to cut each one out separately. To sew the flowers on, I did my best to sew around each corner and curve so it was really tedious and long but I think next time I would just consider fabric gluing them on or using some kind of adhesive. I also hand sewed the flowers onto the pockets as well. Lastly, I sewed a snap button at the waist to hold the button placket down. And I'm finished. Here is the final transformation. watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below what video you want to see next see you next time bye but I'm afraid and